joining me now live is former FBI agent Colleen Rowley. Uh, Ms. Rowley, uh, as we've been reporting, Russia apparently warned the FBI that one of the suspects was following radical Islam, but the FBI found nothing suspicious. How likely is it that the U.S. security forces missed these vital clues that could have prevented the Boston attacks? Well, of course, uh, I, I've written a, a piece called Chechen Terrorists and the Neocons, where I allude to part of the problem. But in fact, the lack of follow-up that the FBI has had <clears throat> is not um, unusual. Uh, the, the three other, uh, you know, terrorist cases we've had in the United States, Abdul Matalab, the underwear bomber, Shazad, and uh, even Major Hassan were also, uh, you know, characterized by lack of investigation and follow-up, even when, for instance, in the underwear bomber, the father called up. So these tips, these very key tips, are going on um, uninvestigated. It is the case also of Musawi before 9-11, where I was the whistleblower about these failures. And we continue to see this play out over and over, where the, the, the real uh, terrorist incidents are ignored, where it, while the FBI puts enormous resources into profiling and, uh, of course, even some cases uh, subtly pressuring and trapping uh, all kinds of other cases. So why is this happening? Why this reaction? Why are they not taking uh, some, uh, uh, you know, reports seriously and then they take some suspicious seriously? How, how is this happening? In a place where security is so tight, everybody's monitored, and mm -hmm. if they key words like radicalism and uh, bombs or we're going to kill people, surely those are key words that the FBI should have picked up on. Either, either way, whether it's homegrown or anywhere else, they would have done that the same thing elsewhere. Well, there's, there's two uh, possible explanations here, and maybe both. One is what I was just talking to. There's this idea that when you're looking for a needle in the haystack, the answer is to put more hay. So they are collecting lo data, um, lots of data, massive data, on innocent Americans. That's all part of this top-secret America. And actually, it hurts the ability, then, to home in on the real critical pieces. And this, again, is what I just mentioned. The other uh, potential explanation is that, um, you know, th this idea of terrorism is such a confusing concept because we have our terrorists and their terrorists. Uh, it's the, the definition is supposed to be uh, acts of violence against civilians for political purposes. But you see this over and over where there, the U U.S. considers that there are good rebels and good freedom fighters. At the very least, the separatists in other countries are not considered as terrorists. We have a whole establishment, neoconservative establishment in the U.S. now, uh, heavily involved in propagandizing that there are good rebel groups. For instance, in Iran is the latest example of the Mujahideen Kalk that actually was on the, the U.S. terrorist list, but now have been delisted to become the good rebel fighters against Iran. Okay, I mean, let, me, let me quickly ask you this then. Uh, after the revelation of the suspects came out that they were of Chechen origin, the U.S. media quickly shifted their focus to the armed groups in Chechnya, which they portrayed as the freedom fighters, uh, but now as ferocious terrorists. Mm -hmm. How would you explain that? Well, Are these my, like the other terrorists? Yes, and of course, my, my piece is, is how shocked I was watching Rudy Giuliani on, on a morning news show a couple of days ago saying that he was so surprised that, the, that this had a link to Chechen uh, groups because in his case, his neocon buddies, including the former CIA director, Woolsey, had been p are part of a group uh, that are helping and 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 trying to legitimize the Chechens, and the reason they're doing this, as they did with the Mac, the same group, at, by the way, um, is for political reasons. And of course, this is uh, maybe Giuliani is that ignorant; he doesn't even understand. But in the Musawi case, which was the only example of finding a terrorist suspect before 9/11. Uh, the real hang-up and problem in that case was because the, the the FBI and other figures did not understand that the Chechen group in was actually considered under FISA law uh, for purposes of, of getting authorization to monitor. Uh, you you need to show that the person is acting on behalf of a foreign uh, power, 
which includes a, a terrorist group. And there was a lot of confusion as to whether Ibn Khattab at the time, Musawi, had there was intelligence he was working for, um, was actually a part of a FISA, legitimate uh, FISA foreign power. Uh, so Ju Giuliani was completely disingenuous, feigning surprise at this, because if he, if he even had the slightest understanding of 9-11, he would know this. Ms. Rowley, I'm just, uh, I, I've got little time with you, but I just want to quickly ask you, uh, the group of congressmen now insists that the surviving suspect uh, be denied a, a defense attorney, uh, and he should be declared an enemy com uh, combatant, and shipped to Guantanamo. What do you make of that? Well, it's very difficult to go against this horrible propaganda in the United States that draws wrong conclusions from uh, acts. They're, we're going to end up with thousands of cameras in public places. We're going to end up with the FBI doing even more of its ill-considered preemptive targeting and, and, and making these boasts that they can prevent, uh, which is not true. It's actually the opposite. And in fact, we're also going to, uh, we're, we're going to probably see uh, uh, terrible conclusions formed, uh, and, and public safety exception, by the way, pre-existed 9-11, that we should have been able to interview very in a very limited way without an attorney in order to prevent future deaths. The reason when that was disregarded after 9-11, and actually for several years, it led the U.S. to overreact with the, the commissions and what uh, Cheney and John Yu uh, did, which was take the U.S. to the dark side of torture and all of these extremely uh, illegal actions. Former FBI agent Colleen Rowley speaking to us live here on RT. Thank you. Thank you.